it's 8.05. I don't think there's ever been a better day to do a one day. Excuse me. <laughs> one day. Sunny low winds, upper 60s. One day. When it comes to glide baits, that's about the smallest, while still expecting it to function as a glide bait kind of size, that I'm willing to go. I've made a smaller one. I mean, I've made what I've claimed to be the smallest glide bait ever, but I didn't really function as a glide bait. This probably will. No guarantees yet, but this probably will. The epic darter. Missing its tail because I cut it off and it's right there. I designed this bait so that that tail fin will fit perfect back there and it'll have a flappy, perfectly symmetrical because it's out of an aluminum mold tail fin as well. That'll be cool. Ultra light glide bait. Oh boy, first Wednesday of the month. Woke Chippy up. You hear something, Chip? You hear something? Tell them, Chippy. This happens every month. Yeah, okay. Chip, it's okay. Good, good boy, good boy. You need comfort, good boy. So dramatic. Okay, we got gills marked out, we got the chamfer lines marked out. Time to bring knife to wood. Man, if there was a real tornado, Chip would just be down in the basement with us howling right in my ear as my house gets torn away. Roughly carved. It's gonna be some sort of minnow. I don't even know what yet, but some sort of minnow. Strip a 150 grit, let's get it smooth. Hey, Penny. Carefully cutting this tail slot. The bait's all pretty much carved out and smoothed off, so you gotta be careful. I like the small teeth on this Irwin blade dovetail style. Very manageable. So I went from saw blade to sandpaper to doubling up the sandpaper to tripling up the sandpaper to this file and added thickness to it from that progression of different thickness abrasive things. And here we are at the correct thickness. There's the tail fin slot. Gills. This thing's gonna have fancy carved gills. I have been putting effort into the one days. I used to not do that, but it's kind of like, what's the point of these if it's like not as good of a bait in the end, you know? Gotta make really nice stuff and catch fish on it. Same day.
Just gonna stencil out and transfer this gill pattern real quick, real quick and real nice. Rest in peace, Gordon Lightfoot. One of his songs just came on. You gotta check for symmetry after you put that first outline stenciling of the gills. Make sure they're the same on both sides. They are. There's some itsy bitsy carvings. When I see handmade lures for sale, and then there's there's the big ones with the big carvings that cost more than the small ones with the itsy bitsy carvings, I'm confused because this is way harder to get right than a big one. Material costs in all of lure making in general are pretty negligible. Like the type of wood, sure, but like the amount of wood, no. Even with like a big foot long glider, that's not that much more material than like a four inch bait. When you consider material costs to build anything else like a workbench or a, a desk. Labor wise, how much somebody's getting paid for what they're doing, small stuff's harder. It's even harder to get a good action out of a smaller bait. It's easier with a big bait. Funny how you can get so much more money out of a big bait than a small bait. Smooth. I don't think I'm going to carve an eye socket on this. I think I'm just gonna put an eye where it belongs once I get there after the painting. Those eyes are just too small. We can cut the joint. Joints cut, I softened up all of those sharp edges. I'm gonna do that on both sleeves. Gonna do that on both sides. Marking out spots to put lead. I did that on the wrong side and I had to patch it with some super glue and baking soda on the back piece there, but two bigger ones on the front piece, two smaller ones on the back. Lead's hot and it's going in right now. I'm just putting enough in to where I know it's gonna sink. And we'll make adjustments by drilling out the excess. All right, yes, I covered those lead holes in super glue and baking soda. Stainless steel corrosion resistant lock wire. It's a bait maker's best friend. Comes in these blue containers like this. I've never seen this wire rust or this wire. I've even used it in salt water. It's a lovely malleability as well when it comes to making these twist wire connections. Super glue in a cup. We're sealing wood with super glue once again. There's your tailpiece. Awesome, I'm gonna dry fit this really quick, show you what we got. Okay, you can get a tail, a nice flappy darter tail to fit in there, perfect. And when it's ready, I'll pin it in. Bro, that's gonna contaminate my test tank a little bit. Aki, I need like a grabber. We're just gonna... Get that window ready to dump that thing right out of there. Rest in peace, buddy. Okay, let's see how this thing works. Sinks way too hard. Good. And it sank tail first. Even better. I'm gonna do some drilling adjustments. Okay, I've been back and forward at the drill press to the test tank, and we have it to where it floats, just barely. And when you add the hooks, ah, I dropped a hook down there. 
it sinks like you would want it. It actually sinks a little bit tail heavy, but I do that on purpose because those holes that I have to refill in with super glue and baking soda are bigger than what's in the back and super glue and baking soda sinks. So that should bring it back to nose heavy. But even after that, if it's not perfect, I can do stuff like add a heavier hook to the front or a heavier split ring to the front if you need to get really precise to make sure. There's always something you can do. But yeah, I'm just gonna super glue and baking soda these holes, smooth them off, one more full sanding over the whole thing and we're ready to paint. See you at the painting booth. 1122, it took us a while to get here. The glide baits are pretty involved, that's okay. Starting with white. Red, violet. Some chartreuse on the green side. We're gonna do like a lateral line on the top flank. Nice and unmistakably bold. Plenty of color there. Okay, it's time to make some fancy stencil stuff happen. Just gonna lay it over. I wanna to pattern along the bottom flank now. Mm-hmm. That was Wicked Oxide Red mixed with sunburst orange. So there's some neon in there. Just a striking orange that it's got some depth. It goes pretty dark too. Beautiful. All right, we got those things clamped up in some fine mesh. First up is pearl white over the orange stuff on the belly. I just kind of accept that the pearl white doesn't do that much and I don't like just keep spraying it expecting to see it do something. Be careful with it because you'll saturate your mesh and the paint will seep under the mesh and you'll get you'll like lose the effect. Next up some gold is gonna run kind of through that green and just below it. There we go. Okay kind of nervous about this one but pearl black over the top. Okay I kind of went down the sides a little bit with it too. Hopefully that looks good. Scale reveal. Doing the little piece first. Gotta zoom in to see this stuff. Yummy. You can tell where that black spilled over the edge comes back in with the pearl when you tilt it. Flashy. The pearl black scales are pretty hard to make out on the top against that dark purple, but they're there and they just kind of fade in down the sides. Man, that looks good. There's still scales and stuff on the bottom. They're just very translucent and pearly. So that pattern shows through. How about this piece? Whoa. I can appreciate those scales. Let's finish all the details on this thing. Silver on the gill plates, real quick. That just kind of neutralized the area and brought out the carvings even more. Now white on the bottom. Freehanding white on stuff like that can get out of hand real quick, so you gotta be careful. Sometimes I would just leave them like that. Nice, contrasting, flashy color, beautiful. But I'm gonna add something. It's a little bit of lavender, just a curved ball of a color thrown in, in the gills there. A little bit of lavender. I almost never go full pink anymore. I like lavender. This ain't for the fish, this is for me. I like lavender. Details are done. Let's get the eye on. I don't have anything less or just like a little less than a quarter inch. That's gonna be a tight squeeze into that spot right there, but I think it's doable. Get some adhesive right there. There's nothing wrong with that. That fits and that matches just right. That's just like an Amazon purchase, 3D holographic eye assortment. And it's time for clear coat. Dude, this thing's sweet. I like that chartreuse to gold. Prominent flash right along the side there as this thing moves. No clue what kind of minnow this could possibly be, but I like it. Like a chartreuse tiger minnow. Once again, some hard Chinese UV resin has been squirted into a cup. Apply it, rotisserie it so it evens out. Grab it, bring it over a light here, flip it around, turn it around, get the light to hit everywhere. It sets almost instantly. And then you have to reach a full hardening with it by letting it rest in there for 30 minutes. That's what we do with this stuff.
Yeah, that'll be done in a half hour. Once again, more coffee, eat lunch, go find a nice spot. Might go to a small pond or something. It is a glide bait, you know? Yeah, I think I made a really good color for the tails. And just for an epic darter in general. Super clean, perfect little joint on this thing. Super smooth, forever swinging pendulum right there. Let me show you the tails. Whew. Probably gonna use that top one. It's got the best contrast. There's a little notch in there. It's wider at the base than it is at the end. These tails are that way too, just slightly. We're gonna slide one in. Okay, that's pretty awesome. It's two colors, man. Matches the orange stuff on the belly, matches the top with the gold and the green. I'm gonna put a pen through that, probably two pens. We're not using power tools to drill that hole. Pinned in. I'm sure the hooks can't catch, we're good. That's as big of a hook as we can put on it and they don't cross and catch each other. What a stunner. Ultra light glider. They usually don't come this small. It's time to observe our work from a functional standpoint. If all that it does is swim back and forward, side to side, I'll be a happy bait maker and I'll fish with confidence. Oh, it sinks perfect. Okay, we did it. It's nearly impossible to show in this test tank. You can get the whole thing to have a slight swim. Very slight. Very natural, very easy going swim. But then with jerks, it just throws itself around and doesn't know where to go. Maybe there'll be some good clear water out where we're fishing. We can get better action footage than in that little test tank with the glider. Let's go. I just had this bait up on the dashboard like that and I was driving and I took a hard turn and I heard it like slide and then hit over here. And I thought it went out the window because it was gone. Like I couldn't find it while I was driving. So I pulled over in a parking lot and it was in there. One day is not failed yet. This one day is still alive. Whew, that was a close one. Let's give one of Bajornson's ponds a shot. That's what we'll start with. BJPond.com for all of your pond needs and wants. Fish feeders, fish feed. Whew. Found some pliers out here. Good old rappel pliers with the split shot nose. Chemicals for your pond, dyes, structure, all pond accessories. I don't know what else to tell you. BJPond.com. Go get stuff for your pond. Oh, look at that bass. The water's so clear. You can see them from a mile away. First cast. Oh, it just about got murdered. It had a strong follower. Dude, it works so ridiculously much better out on a long cast and it does up close. That's the issues I was having in the test tank with it, I think. Ha <laughs> ha! It's official! Bass like ultralight grot. Blah, 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 blah. I seriously tried again to say bass and it, it came out like that. Bass! like ultralight glide baits. It's official. That was giving it some twitches up shallow. Good to know, be free. And one day successfully complete. Easy peasy. What time is it? 2.50. I got all day left to catch fish on this lovely bait. How exciting. No pressure, just about seeing what we can catch now. Thanks Kevin and your awesome ponds. BJPond.com makes the one days easy. Man. It's easy. It's a it's a pleasant bait to fish with. It's got an easy to 
get going action. It's just very hard to show you because it works best way out there. I can see it. it it's, it's flashing both sides very symmetrically and nicely, except when you get it into the weeds. <laughs> Steadily dragging it along the bank. And they're up here. Thanks for being up here, bro. Be free. No more official than the last fish. It's a bit more reinforced officialness. Oh, hey, Brad. How you doing? Shooting a video on this thing. Oh, are you? Yep. I think you just throw one back, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, there's one. Wasn't even reeling. Threw it out there to grab it, huh? Yep. Feels like a dink o -matic. But yeah, what you really hope for is just like a boom. <laughs> really and runs and runs and runs. Yeah, that's the that'll be a wiper. I, I get from them, but nice. I've got an app on my phone here, I'll show you real quick. Fish on that one? Yep. Is that a bass? Yeah, that's a bass. I thought it was a crappie for a second. Oh, yeah. Yep. These hooks are so sharp. Gotta be careful. Oh, yeah. More and more official. Could catch these all day. We're just hoping for something a bit more official than that. Three kilowatts. So I'll end up probably about 90 for the day. Nice. And so uh, I'm real happy with it. Yep. Really? It just takes care of it. That's awesome. And, uh, Good talking. Yeah. Later. There's a good one. Ah, no. Wow, that one felt good for two seconds. Well, thank you, bjpond.com. Link below. Thank you, website. Why did, doesn't make any sense. Thanks, Kevin. Go to bjpond.com for all of your pond needs. Made this one day official. No yakker doodle today. Just an official bait coming through, making its way down to the pike spot. Bit of a strut in its step, confidence high. I feel like I'm gonna catch a pike today. Now I'm not gonna catch a pike today. Dang it. Ugh, I do that every time. I would be surprised if they're biting over here as good as they were last week. Pleasantly surprised. I just saw a fish. Finally. We got a smallie. That's on a three inch prey bait. That's not on the bait. Nice river smallie. Be free. That was really shallow right there. Bumping on the bottom, something I cannot do with that bait. So, uh, bonus fishing. Will they be able to resist the 1.7 prey? I highly doubt it. I think that has strawberry scent on it. Or maybe that's grape. It's intense, though. I knew it. That was first cast. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, that was a hit. Kablooey. So they're just... Not quite as fired up as they were last video, but we had to downsize. And it's official. Smallies, like 1.7 praise. That's been done before. I think that's the furthest I've ever cast a, a tiny prey bait. Ooh, that was a hit. 
What are you? Fellas, it's a different species. It's a legally caught walleye. Imagine that on the Marling Bates channel. I didn't snag it. It's official walleye, like 1.7 inch prey baits. Be free with grape scent on them. This one's got grape. It's all over my hands. I smell like grape soda right now. Good hit. Oh, and I lost it. Bob Saget. There's another. This one feels different. Stand down. Is this a pike? No, it's a smallie. Fighting like a pike. Decent. You know, that's not a dink. Not a dink on the 1.7. Fantastic. It's official. Be free. It's turning out to be a good day. Let's just do a few more casts with the glider. Last chance for it. Oh! It did it! It did it! Woo. It did it. Second species. I gave it like three last casts here. Makes me wonder how much I could have caught if I fished with it the whole time, dang it. But it's official. Smallmouth, like ultralight gliders. Be free. Dude, we did it. One point seven preys are just super official. The vids have just been crammed, packed, full of officiality as of late. Still got my bait. Good boy. Can't ask for better than that. I could see myself fishing with this again. I like this little glider. When they work, I, I love little gliders like this. It's a fun thing to fish with, if they work. You guys remember the doobie swim bait with the peacock bass paint scheme? I got a mini one, they sent me a mini one. And today's a really, really nice day. Overcast, full moon, 70s outside. I'm gonna go fishing. That'll probably be the bonus fishing for the next video. Hope you enjoyed the heck out of this one day. On to the next bait. Woo-hoo! <laughs>